Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second rigging tutorial video. My last video went over how I set everything up in Life 2D and how I rigged the eyes. So if you haven't watched that, feel free to watch it before this one. I do add in a lot of good tips and tricks I'll be using in this video. Today is just a quick eyebrow rigging video. I decided to make a video about each individual part so it's easier to find the specific video need for a rigging. I'll be making a rigging tutorial playlist after this video. And this is my third time recording this tutorial because I messed up the first two times and I sounded a little dead. So I'll try not to sound too dead today. So let's just get right into it. So opening Life to the Cubism Editor. If you don't already have your model open, you can go to File, press Open and find your .cmo3 file or press Open a Recent File and it'll open your most recent file you just worked on. Or if you have a lot of models you've been working on, you can hover over Recent Files and you should be able to pick yours from there. I'm just going to click Open a Recent File. Okay, so zooming in on the brow, you're going to open up your brow parameter folder. Yours might look like this, which is all the default parameters for the eyebrows. However, most of them are not trackable by VTube Studio, which is what I'm going to use to track my model. VTube Studio only tracks the brow Ys and the brow forms. So the brow angles and the brow X, you don't really need them. I'll throw up on the screen what they do. They're more for animation purposes, I would say. Your eyebrows don't really move like that. So I just put them away into a different folder or I just delete them completely. You can always just put them back in if you've accidentally deleted a parameter anyway. So I just get rid of those. So I'm focused on the ones that actually track and actually matter. So I'm going to click on my brow here and then find my warps over here. My brows are under one warp folder. However, you might notice I already have keyboard on here that's because i i'm re-recording this video so i'm just gonna quickly delete all of those okay so having one brow selected i'm going to put a warp folder on it i'm gonna call it this brow now you don't have to do this it's just for organizational reasons obviously if you're using the free version maybe don't use it but it's helpful if you reflect your brows and they don't perfectly match up you can use this warp to manually move them so going over to my art brow layer you can auto mesh it with heavy usually i like to just do that but for those that want to manually mesh it let's go up to the edit mesh manually button delete all of these and then the brow moves pretty fluidly like the top lash of the eyes. So I'm going to put dots on it like I would for the eyelash. And then once that's connected, I'm going to auto connect all the blue lines to make it red and then press the check mark. Now, same thing for the lash of the eyes. I'm going to put a path deformer on it. I'm going to put like four maybe. After that, I'm going to switch to the arrow tool. And now we have our eyebrow all meshed up. Now, going to the corresponding brow Y, I'm going to add three keyframes on it. And then when it goes to negative one, I'm going to drag it down. Now, that's basically what it does. It just goes up and down for the Ys, obviously. Next, we're going to add the brow form. So on the same layer where we have our keyforms on the brow Y, I'm going to add three keyforms here. Now, I'm going to do this manually. You can do the same thing we did for the eyeball X and Y and synthesize the corners. But I'm going to do this manually just to show how it's done. So our brow Y zero, and our brow L form zero, this is the super default state. But when brow form goes to one, it's going to turn upwards like this. Obviously, you can change it however you'd like. And then when brow form goes to negative one, I'm going to make a downturn like this. Now you can play around with that, see if you like it. And then I'm just going to manually do that for each of these. They're all going to look a little different, but that's what I like about it. You can also put brow form on a separate warp so that it affects brow Y without doing any extra steps. But this method is good for those who are using the free version. So again, brow Y is at one, it's raised, and then brow form one. I'm going to tilt it up like this at that expression. And then same thing for negative one brow form. Tilt it down. And I'm going to brow Y negative one, brow form one, and then brow form negative one. Doing the method where you do each corner individually makes it help with how you want to look specifically at each point. And then you can link them and then squiggle it around and see how it moves. Obviously, you can change this whenever you'd like as well. And then I'm going to unlink them. And then we're basically done 
with that rig. So to copy it up on the other brow, I'm gonna select both the brow and the warp I put under. Control C to copy, and I'm gonna press Control V to paste it. Let me unhide that, and then I'm gonna right click on it, reflect. I don't need to reflect any of these. Press OK, and then BAM! I can hide or delete the brow under it. And now if I link these again, they'll both move at the same velocity. They'll both move at the same time. Now the same thing for the eyes, we, we don't want both of the brows moving on just the left side. For example, if you have one brow raised and the other one's lowered, you want it to reflect onto your model. So I'm going to select the brow layer art where we just rigged everything. Right click on the keyframe for brow LY, press change, change that to brow RY. And same thing for form, I'm going to change it to brow R form. And now they move separately. Now to test the eyes and the brows in the physics settings to see how they actually work. And then I mentioned this in my last video, but if you want to make it manually blink in the physics editor, you can go to modeling, parameter, go down to settings for eye blinking and lip sync. It's going to pop up. You can go down to your eyes and then select eye blinking for both your opens. And then if you want to, you can also add lip sync if you add your mouth open and mouth form. Press OK. And then we're going to go to Modeling, Open Physics slash Scene Blending Settings. Zoom in on the face and it should be blinking manually. Now you can play a random pose to see how everything works together. You can see our fishy brows are moving. Hopefully yours are too. And then that's basically it. We're done rigging the brows. I hope that tutorial was helpful. I did get a lot of comments on my last video saying that I was really clear with my explanation. So hopefully that goes the same for the rest of the videos. For the next video, we're going to be rigging the mouth, which is one of the more complex things to rig. So hopefully my explanation helps you guys out there. I'm going to try to rig my entire model this month and get all of my rigging tutorials recorded. So look forward to that and I'll see you guys soon.